This is Eye on Politics, and uh, in studio I'm joined by, on my far left, I'm uh, joined by Honorable Peter Orero, who is the MP for Kibra. How are you doing? Ah, very well. Karim uh, Zala. Thank you for inviting me again. Yes. Uh, I think we are here to see and what is happening in the political arena in the yes. country. Yes. Any other thing we want to say thank you. I also want to say welcome uh, Kenyans, those who are watching us. <coughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> and also uh, Jasiel Njau, I'm a Fadela. Yes. Pakangu, I'm going to Fadela. Lazima. Karibu sana. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. Yes. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's yeah. a privilege once again mm -hmm. to come here. And uh, I really appreciate it. I'm a happy man. Yes. I'm a happy man when I think about Nairobi. I'm a happy man, which we shall discuss. Okay. All yeah. right. We shall get to that. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, um, let's take a look at what is happening uh, in the local dailies. I'm starting with the nation. Tanga tanga as you wish. Ruto tells MPs. I think that was the, that is in, in line with what the president said yesterday about uh, MPs have a responsibility uh, to their constituents and also they can go around the country to better understand <coughs> their roles more. What is it take on that, given that now uh, you are here as an MP? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think he's just trying to affirm the, the oversight roles of the MPs, mm -hmm. and also those who have closed minds, yes. those who have not walked to uh -huh. these parts of the country. Yeah. And you see, our key responsibility, one of the key responsibilities of an MP, mm -hmm. not just a legislative role yes. and representation, but we have oversight role. Yes. And it takes us uh, to various uh, places. Like myself, I'm in education committee. Mm -hmm. And we oversight various agencies and the universities across the country. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it gives us opportunity to see a really uh, first hand what happens to, in this institution mm -hmm. but at the same time we interact with other people I, I don't think it was just meant for MPs <laughs> as it were <laughs> maybe we will look at it in a deeper way yeah. Yeah, because I think at the moment you know the fields we, we have mm -hmm. uh, so MPs uh, uh, this was just uh, a coincidental term mm -hmm. for the MPs, but I think it meant uh, <laughs> uh, bigger things. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, as an MP, I think it is uh, right for us to move to other parts of the country, yes. see how people live, yes. look at how infrastructure, other development projects go on in various parts of the country, and compare with our own constituencies, mm -hmm. and see what we lack, what we need to do, mm -hmm. and what other Kenyans uh, need as, as, as a country. Yes. Yeah. Fadela, I want to get your sentiments on that but that statement by the president seems to contradict what the deputy president had said some time back when he was in Rift Valley where he told MPs to stay in their constituency and not meddle in other in the politics of other regions. <laughs> One, I want to agree to what Mwishmua said. The president is a very smart man. When he said that, mm -hmm. he knew what he was saying in matters of oversight. My issue is, and I, I agree to what you've said, I, I'm against what you've said, he never said tanga tanga. No, he never said, let's look. What did he say? You are free to move to other regions. When we in introduce the connotation of tanga tanga, mm -hmm. you take us back to when President Uhuru stood and said, Nini tanga tanga. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the president never said that. I think there are people who want to, to bring a rift where there is no rift. They want to create it. Yet the government is in unity. And now, in juxtaposition with what you've said in terms of the DP speaking in Rift Valley and saying about the meddling affairs of the, political, the, the politics of Central, and, and he said, uh, the politics of Central is a very complicated affair. Mm -hmm. uh, leave it to the mountaineers. Mm -hmm. he, he, he never said that MPs should not go around. He simply said, mm -hmm. those who are meddling in the affairs mm -hmm. of the Central region, mm -hmm. uh, just keep it to yourself. We can handle our issues. But in matters of the president, as he alluded to, MPs can go wherever and wherever. Mm -hmm. That was not Tanga Tanga. Mm -hmm. So when you use the headline, Tanga Tanga as you wish, Bro, you are awakening things which were not there. And I think it's time for the media to get to that perspective where they respect, uh, they, they respect the political class and not create mm -hmm. 
beef where there was no beef. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but also someone, given the, the way the president spoke and uh, the words that um, uh, the deputy president used some time back, is the presidency, or, uh, is the president and the deputy president reading from different scripts? I think where the, the rift comes in is the question of the mission of the deputy president vis-a-vis uh, -vis the vision of the president. Uh -huh. The vision of the president is unity, right? The mission of the deputy president as it stands now is unity in the central Kenya. And where they find that there is a problem is because the DP has gotten to a place he has realized. He has humbled himself. Uh, I, I, I go to church, and as, as, a, as a politician coming up, I go to church, and the pastor, Bishop Moredi, my bishop, GCC, says, I think it's scripture, where he says, uh, humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. Mm -hmm. uh, Rigi G has gotten to a place he realized, and he said it during the weekend, he said, I came into power as a bitter man. But my wife advised me and has prayed for me and I've healed. So when he's coming, he's apologizing on behalf of the central Kenya. So people are misconstruing and there's a misnomer about this mission of him repenting because he realizes in matters of leadership, he, he, he did wrong what he did and he's saying sorry. So let's not confuse the mission of the DP. And, and I'll take you back because now we are awakening things. I'll take you back. <laughs> the president, current, and the, when he was DP, and President Uhuru, they went around doing prayer rallies, right? And they were saying, forgive us, and people were being prayed for. If I was to be asked, because I'm not in that board of Rigiji, if I was to be asked, Rigiji should even brand himself and come up with Rigiji prayer rallies. He wants repentance, he's an honest man, a truthful man, and now we are seeing a repentant man. So why not do prayer rallies for him to apologize to the nation in, in, the nation in this time, the central province? And he is actually regretting what what he said so let's not mix the two they are not on they're, they're, but they're, they're speaking the, it's like you're on the same mountain but on a different side do we need prayer rallies or we need prayer development oh uh, this one he's pushing you remember when he was talking uh, and telling uh, uh, Rachel uh, not Rachel Pastor Dorcas Her Excellency uh, the, the second lady when he he said uh, the president will send me in America for development and uh, I will hold your hand he understands his role he, 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 he does what the president says. He respects the authority of the president. Even when he goes, he says, let us do development. But this is a man on a redemptive mission so that he can be forgiven. So let's not confuse the two. <laughs> I don't know what your sentiments <laughs> are goes towards uh, whatever you are saying. I think we are really at variance in our thoughts <laughs> with my colleague here. Yes. I don't know whether he's standing in for Rigiji. <laughs> because <laughs> one is uh, let us not misuse prayers and let us not misuse repentance. Mm -hmm. And when he says he's an honest man and is repenting, when you are honest, you are, you are almost holier than thou. You don't even need repentance. Mm -hmm. I think let us not cover our, our heads mm -hmm. uh, with this idea of prayers. We must respect prayers. Mm -hmm. Your question was very explicit and yes. very specific, yes. whether they are reading from the same or Script. different scripts. And is my colleague is trying to confuse people about vision and mission. And you see, as a deputy president, you must carry out the vision of the president. Yes. It, it, no two ways. Although we are a democratic country, yeah. but a deputy president must carry the vision of the president. Mm -hmm. We cannot have uh, two centers of power. Uh, but I think this is good for Kenya mm -hmm. because it is going to obliterate completely these reckless pronouncements mm -hmm of uh, ownership or shares uh, that they have always talked about, mm -hmm. that uh, uh, Rigji has always talked about. Mm -hmm. Because now we will consider our country, we co will consider Kenyans mm -hmm. as a united nation. Mm -hmm. And I think I would, for, for once, I, I, I would want to read uh, uh, from the same script with the president, where he says he needs a united country. Mm -hmm. We, we cannot, in our mind, select certain regions and try to consolidate power with, within certain regions. Yet, we are chosen by all Kenyans and expect to serve Kenyans. <coughs> and, and I think the last weekend, 
I, I think yesterday I was uh, looking at what the deputy president was talking about, although he was speaking in the vernacular, uh, but uh, I understand a lot of, uh, uh, that is where I learned from. He was speaking in the vernacular mm -hmm. and said that he still stands for one shilling, one man, one vote. Yes. I want to retrace this for a long time. Mm -hmm. In 1965, I think there was sessional paper number 10, uh, which was developed. And during this time, our colonial government, people from, uh, we were just reeling from get, getting our independence. Mm -hmm. And we had this idea that uh, areas with that, which had good infrastructure, mm -hmm. areas which had electricity, they had good land, mm -hmm. they had a good uh, climate. These are areas where the white, set, uh, white men were living. Mm -hmm. the, the ranches in Laikipia, the, the, the central province, mm -hmm. the Rift Valley, mm -hmm. and all these good places. Mm -hmm. So they were saying that development, for it to come faster, we need to to lift these areas, which were already developed. <coughs> and that is why, as Kenyans, some areas are more developed than the others because of this session of paper number 10, which was implemented in a skewed manner. When we want to bring this again at the current uh, political setup and the current Kenyan state where democracy has, is taking root, okay. we cannot be retrogressive in our thinking. We must be progressive in our thinking. And I think these two are reading from very different scripts. Mm -hmm. And more is coming. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. Before, before I come back to you, I know I'll give you a time no, to... No, I want to respond. Yes, you will respond, respond to that. Yeah. But let me first of all uh, introduce uh, Dr. Uh, Joseph Rotich, who is a political and economics analyst uh, who has just joined us here on Eye on Politics. Welcome to the program. Thank you, thank you, Mike. And uh, we are talking about the statements between the president yesterday and a statement that uh, the deputy president had made some time back in uh, Rift Valley. And the question I'm asking here is the president and the deputy president reading from the same script? <laughs> uh, thank you, Mike. Uh, I want to thank Kenyans yes. because they have been good to their leaders. Yes. But uh, when you look at the leadership of this country, I say generally leaders, they are still reckless in their talks, uh -huh. not re not I mean they are not really referring, or rather making themselves equal to the expectations of the majority of Kenyans. Yes, because when you talk about uh, as I had my brother Mushmiwa uh -huh. about the one man one vote one shilling uh -huh. that has been uttered uh, by His Excellency the Deputy President. Uh -huh. I, I think this thing uh, when I this in bad taste because uh, you talk. Uh, you know, the presidency, uh, to me, is a sacred position in this country. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about president, mm -hmm. you talk of a president that is the symbol of the national unity. Yeah. You talk of a president that represents the majority of Kenyans, not mm -hmm. the majority, the whole Kenyans. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you allude, like you are talking to a particular group of people or uh, some constituents, that maybe you want to talk in a sense that appeals to them, mm -hmm. Uh, to me, it is not good. Because when, when you talk about the population being equated to what, how much you should get in this country, in, uh, uh, Mike, how, how, what do you expect the minorities of this nation, who are equally the citizens of this nation, who deserve to, be, to, 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 to benefit from their own resources, when you say, nah, just because I'm an elder brother, we are many in number, we, are, we can now, I mean, uh, 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 even the resources should be uh, distributed in the same manner. In, in this case, uh, Mike, if you look at the country, of, uh, I mean, the, 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 the population of this nation, there are those tribes that are very few in number. Talk of the robots, talk of who? Who were not developed in the past? And uh, who, at this time, they are also expecting their government that talks of the equity, equitable distribution of resources of this country. I think these are the people whom, I mean, we must look at them. And uh, if, if I was to be put to, uh, if I was to be asked, Mike, as to what we should use to make uh, distribute our resources in this country, I should take. I should really love to talk about the poverty index of this nation. Those people who are deserving more are those people who were left behind in the days past, mm -hmm. and these are the people whom we should look into and develop them to come to the same status economically with the rest of the Kenyans. But coming coming to what I just asked, is the president and the deputy reading from the same script? 
Uh, you understand the political intrigues of this country, mm -hmm. uh, Mike. Of late, you overheard about some differences that the uh, public are actually talking. It has been in the air. We don't know how much they relate inside. Mm -hmm. But what we can say outside, uh, they look like they are with, uh, the better. Mm -hmm. But um, as to the firing talks, uh, Mike, I said you are not uh, a guest in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, of late, the deputy president has been uh, seemingly talking like he has been sidelined. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is by the talk. We don't know how much he has been sidelined or if, if it is true that he has been sidelined. Mm -hmm. But I don't uh, see that, uh, Mike, because uh, if I go back to the talk that he had in Rift Valley mm -hmm. when they were in Eldoret, mm -hmm. he expressed that there are some people from the Rift who are out to wreck the political terrain in the, in the, in the Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he alluded that uh, there are some young guys who are now, uh, I mean, uh, look, they look lucrative and satisfied. I mean, they have a lot of money. Yeah. And in that case, I don't think that uh, that relates to the mind of His Excellency the President. Yes. It is only about those characters just beneath. Yes. Asante sana. Let me also introduce Arnold uh, Nyaribo, who is the advocate of the High Court. Karibu sana to the program. How are you Thank doing you. this morning? I'm very good. Koko Salama. Can you ask me the same question? Y actually, yes. No, he, no. <laughs> he, he is setting his question. <laughs> he wants to set his question. <laughs> he was his coming. But I, 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 want, <laughs> I want you to, to respond to that and also give your views on... The president yesterday said MPs can uh, they traverse yes the they can traverse the country yeah. as get to understand yeah. their yeah. their roles better and the deputy president on the other hand some time back said stay in your constituency yes, yes. your sentiments yeah thanks now uh, I, I i think to for the benefit of our viewers and thank you so much for welcoming me to your show yes the president and the deputy are not reading from the same script mm -hmm. it is that clear mm -hmm. and uh, the reason is simple that uh, Probably the usefulness of the two, mm -hmm. they have realized, has already come to an end and everybody has to be genuine and honest. The, 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 and, and you know, when you are a political leader of that level, by the way, mm -hmm. there is so much you can hide. You, mm -hmm. ca you cannot dodge around, you know, values or <coughs> even language. Because you have a lot of supporters behind you mm -hmm. and they are always looking at you. Every day they want to hear your honest opinion about something, which is why you brought us here so that at least we can try to explain to your viewers yeah. Uh, why is the deputy president speaking the way he's doing and why is the head of state speaking the way he's doing? So uh, they are not speaking from, this, from the same script. But mm -hmm. what is wrong with the human soul? We do not know. Because earlier on, the people of Mount Kenya were co clearly warned that <coughs> do not go that direction. Mm -hmm. But they said, no, we have to go this direction. We do not want to hear your words now. We don't want your wisdom. They told uh, the former president, for mm -hmm. example, I mean, because he was the one who was... Uh, uh, one of the leaders quite opposed to mm -hmm. unification uh, of uh, uh, the president, current president William Ruto and the people of Mount Kenya. Yes. So <coughs> having said that then, why do people seem all of a sudden, I mean, you have been warned so clearly, why do you turn around and start to whine? Why do you turn around and start now to say, oh, you know, well, I don't get anyway, but I will leave it to every reasonable citizen to judge by themselves. Yes. Why don't we, why are we as Kenyans not able actually to agree on a position. Mm -hmm. This is KBC. Why would somebody call it KBC yellow or KBC something? I mean, this is KBC. <laughs> so I, I, I think... I hope you are not referring to <laughs> my colleague. Pavela, <laughs> 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 Pavela, you want to respond to, to the to respond to him. Yes. You heard Moshimua say, uh, for the first time I'm in agreement with the president. <laughs> They're always in agreement when, when Raila is happy. They are happy. You see, that, that uh, one we must... Let us not let invoke... Me let us not invoke... Why I'm saying that? The name why of Raila that? where he's not why there. I'm saying that? Uh -huh. Why I'm saying that? It's because the president, before he became president, he was interviewed and he said, how come when I supported Raila Odinga, I was not corrupt? Uh -huh. How come when I supported Uhuru Kenyatta, uh -huh. I was not corrupt? How come now that I'm running for presidency, I'm the one now who's being told, is that fair? Mm -hmm. And the question is, Mount Kenya, when we supported the president, mm -hmm. how come we, do, we, we were not tribal? Mm -hmm. But now when Rigeji now wants to bring us together mm -hmm. so that we can talk, the other day we saw Northeastern leaders, when they met, oh, the, the media, ah, 
uh, they were discussing their interest. When Centro is just meeting, oh, tribal, we cannot go back to ethnic. And when Rigiji says, when Rigiji says, and his battalion of uh, uh, Mushimwagakuya now, who's the coming, incoming uh, UDA boss Nairobi, when he said, Heshima Kidogo tu, Heshima Kidogo tu ndo tunaomba, Heshima Kidogo, let me tell you, Nyeri County, Nyeri County by itself, delivered 272,000 votes to President Ruto. Now, the gap between Raila and President Ruto was 233,000. Mm -hmm. So if Rigidi went to Baba, Baba would have been, because in, in, in Kirenyaga, President Ruto got 911 votes, while Baba got 311 from, from the deputy. Uh, 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 Matakarua. So my point is, Heshima Kidogo is 272,000. Give him credit. This man, this man, and when, when, when the rains are over, I know, when the rains are over, the umbrella is heavy. So please, Heshima to Kidogo. I, I think you uh, just took my mic away. <laughs> no, nonetheless, uh, nonetheless, I'm, I'm getting the drift of the discussion because yes. I was not earlier in the show. Uh, you ask me, because you, you have to control this uh, yes. Mount Kenya and uh, whatever other regions. Yes. Uh, <laughs> not tension, but the, 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 the strained debate. Mm -hmm. Because the head of state said, let a member of parliament not be limited to Othaya. Mm -hmm. exactly. Or let him not be limited to Kapseret, as the deputy president said. And I think that is one of the best governor's uh, remark. Mm -hmm. You cannot have a country and then you create tribal kingpins and then you ensure that people from the other end mm -hmm. do not come to our end. In fact, this was a problem previously and I think we have tried to resolve it. Mm -hmm. So by again the deputy president say, mm -hmm. nonetheless, I mean we, we, are, we are intelligent people. We must appreciate what each leader is saying. Mm -hmm. the, the, the deputy is not actually saying that uh, you cannot visit another constituency. Thank you. Th that is for sure. I mean, let's be fair to, uh, and, and, and give people their honest uh, respect. Yeah, yes. he, in this particular moment, he's ad addressing his tribulations, and he's saying they are being created by Ndindinyoro and the likes of Ndindinyoro, and they like to traverse the country just to spoil my name. Mm -hmm. We should not intellectually frustrate the intention of the deputy president and say he's saying you cannot visit Mukurweni. So that said, when the head of state says, no, 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 you guys don't be afraid, you are at liberty to visit Nyamira and go to Kisi, wherever you want to go, you are at liberty. And again, that is very correct. But I think removing it out of context to just try to demean exactly what, what the deputy president means, he's trying to defend himself. He's trying to survive in a political uh, forum. He's mm -hmm. trying to say, no, 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 yes. uh, you cannot leave my county of Nyeri. Yeah. Then you go to spoil my name in Kapseret as though I did not support the head of state to win votes. Mm -hmm. But my brother here has raised something that is also mischievous in the sense that... He, 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 allow me to cut you short. Eh? Okay. We go to a short break, then we'll come back to you, continue. Please give point. me the mic when you come back. Yes. <laughs>